Okay, so this time we're going to add the bromoethane, and then after that we're going to add the condenser, and then we're going to condense for 45 minutes. Four milliliters of isopropanol. There's two different ways to make phenacetin from four acetaminophenol. And the one way that we're using right now is the potassium methoxide method. The other method actually involves potassium carbonate. So in this experiment, we're actually using, like we said, the um, potassium methoxide, the isopropanol, and the uh, the 1.5 grams of the acetaminophenol. And then now we're going to reflux this for about 45 minutes. So and after it's all dissolved, we added a little bit more of the isopropanol because it wasn't completely dissolving. So then after that, then we're going to add the bromoethane when we feel appropriate. Is it? Yeah, that looks completely dissolved. So now let's add in the bromoethane. Who's timing? Does anybody want to time? What's the clock? 22. Oh, wow. What are we on? Um, what are we So what we've are we already add? added a certain amount of DI, probably about half the DI. Um, now I'm going to try pouring in the rest and see if it just precipitates or not. Okay. So it turned like an orangey color, and now we can turn it both off. LeBron's. Just like a LeBron. Perfect. All right, now we're going to crash it out by putting it in the ice bath. And make sure not to let go of it. And now it should be... It's clear and crystallized. It should crystallize now. Oh, it's getting clear. Give it a try. Try it. Try it. Maybe try it for my computer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess, yeah, I'll have to sign in as you, mm -hmm. but... It's a little painting. Should we... You'll have to sign in as you huh? instead of me. Wash it with water, probably, rather than... Isopropyl? Yeah, isopropanol. Well, isopropanol and water. I would add water. So, because isopropanol might just... We're definitely getting product. something, though. That's good. That's good. Nice yield. I hope so. Pure really Tennessee. So. Well, this is a really high yield, guys. Awesome. Because we're adding hot ethanol to this. Okay, so now we're going to mix it with hot Eth yeah, ethanol. Yeah, so now we need to heat up ethanol okay. and we're going to recrystallize it from that. We added as much as it um, needed to dissolve this, buddy, and then we crash it out again. Um, ethanol. I know it says 50. Yeah. Throw this in and stir it. What should we heat it to? Uh, put it at 100 or 150 to get it going. What if it blows up? We just add 95% ethanol into our phenacetin. I just don't want to overdo it because if you overdo it, then that's bad. Then we won't get as much as we want. Here, let me mix this. So. So we just need to add just as much as it's needed. To overdo it would be bad. We could have put it on the dissolved. And now we ice it. Alright, let's try this. My email is, yeah. This is the final problem. Yeah, it's finished.